how much fluorescein should you use to stain the cornea? Here's a fun little case with some pearls for your clinical examination. Now, for any of us who work in eye care, be it in optics, optometry, ophthalmology, in the hospital eye service, we're all very familiar with patients who come to us having been seen elsewhere and come with fluorescein staining their face, their cheeks, their clothes, you name it. And it's because fluorescein comes in minims and there's sometimes a misconception that you need to use the whole fluorescein minim and put that into the eye to adequately stay in the cornea. Now, we're in a precise specialty and actually the amount of fluorescein that we need is, I say, not even a drop, half a drop, the minimum amount needed. And as you could see from this video, that droplet, that bead of fluorescein, that's all you need. And by doing that, you're not going to overstain or over accentuate findings that aren't there and you'll have a good stain.